why do we need a business re resumption plan? Let us assume that uh, backups are taken every 24 hours. Let's say 6 p.m. in the night. At 6 p.m. in the night every day, the backups commence. The backups take around 12 to 14 hours. So we have 6 p.m. the backup starts. Backup finishes, let's say, the next day at 12 noon. The off-site storage vendor for the backup picks up the tapes at 12 noon and ships them off to the off-site. Now, in case of a disaster, we would recover from the last available good backup. In this case, it would be the backup which was available at 6 p.m. Let us assume that disaster happens on Monday at 5 p.m. The tapes that were sent were of Sunday 6 p.m. So anything that changed or any transaction that was recorded between 6 p.m. to 5 p.m. for 23 hours would not be available in the last backup tapes. It is possible to actually reduce the fuzziness of the backup by having a backup at 12 noon and then another backup, but then that affects the offsite storage shipment. So in case of business resumption, once the IT is recovered, it is necessary to recover all the data that was lost from the transactions that were carried out from 6 p.m. to next day 5 p.m. This is assuming that the backup frequency is 24 hours. So this is the first aspect of business resumption. The second aspect of business resumption is assuming the organization took 48 hours. So we had the disaster on Monday, 5 p.m. And the organization took 48 hours to recover to 5 p.m. on Wednesday. In these 48 hours, the organization would have used its workarounds or alternate working procedures for carrying out transactions. If you remember the graph I had of efficiency versus time, aggregate efficiency, and there was a drop. This was not vertical drop. This drop was slant for a reason, and the reason is that the alternate workaround procedures still help in continuing the business though at a much lesser defined frequency and effective effectiveness and efficiency. Back to the scenario, Wednesday 5 p.m. IT is recovered. Transactions have been carried out using the workarounds. So we have a 48 hours of some transactions which were carried out. This could have been manual workarounds, alternate working procedures these also would need to be fed into the system. So we got king of two types of data. One was the data that was lost since the last backup. And one was the data that was created using the workarounds. Only when this data is entered into the IT system, and the IT systems are brought forward in time, would the IT be ready for production? Hence, the business resumption processes talk of ways to recover the data that was lost and also the ways to recreate the data using the workarounds and bringing forward the systems in time. There are abbreviations associated with all of this. Which are the RTO, the recovery time objective, the recovery point objective, the 
work recovery time and the maximum tolerable downtime. I'll cover all of this in the next webcast. We come to the final phase and that is restoration. Restoration is back to normalcy operations. In this, an organization based on a detailed damage assessment which takes subsequent which takes place after the resumption identifies whether it is possible to recover at its primary location if not it identifies a altered work location wherein it would move its operations to so we had a primary work location which suffered a it suffered an outage, the organization moved to an, let's say, a warm site or if I may call it a secondary work location and then either the organization returns to the primary work location or may move to an alternate work location. The restoration phase would have two plans. The first plan would be the detailed damage assessment plan wherein the organization evaluates whether it's feasible to recover at its primary location. This would also have components of the insurance the legal and a very important component of the vital records. If there were anyone, if there were vital records, how are these going to be restored? The other plan is the return back to the new location, new or the primary location. This too is important because in this case, the IT is operating at uh, alternate work location. We have to bring down the systems over there. It's kind of a disaster, but a planned disaster and bring back the systems at a new location. It's similar to a disaster recovery plan but in this case we have the option to choose the time we have all the teams in place and we have the luxury of recovering the operating systems the applications and just waiting for the database tapes to be shift from that location to the new location the comprehensive vcms would address the four phases and all the plans in each phase. My webcast ends over here. The next webcast would talk of the three letter abbreviations that I mentioned the RTO, the RPO, WRT, the MTD. Thank you for listening to the webcast. I welcome your feedback and hope to see you back. Thank you.